seemed like a typical Wednesday afternoon, I was assigned to confirm an accidental death. My name is Inspector Gatnavius. My job is to examine the scene and look for any evidence of foul play. First, I trace a chalk outline of the body. The ambulance would soon be here to remove the victim from the scene. They would then be brought to the medical examiner's office. I will check with the medical examiner tomorrow to confirm the accidental death. The police would come later to speak with the neighbors to see if anyone had heard or saw anything. But as far as I can see, there's nothing unusual. Now to the unfortunate part of my job, informing the victim's family of the girl's sudden death. At the medical examiner's office, he informed me that there were two wounds, a blow to the head and a puncture wound to the abdomen. Realizing now that it was a murder and not just an accident, I returned to the crime scene. I was searching for any clues I may have missed. The rock obviously gave her the head wound. Maybe these gun wrappers belong to the man who had murdered her. I decided to go to the police station to check the security camera footage. Little kid skipping, not important. There's the victim. She's walking to her car. There's that kid again. It looks like they're talking. She just got stabbed. The kid must be looking for the rock. Is that a boy or a girl? I can't quite see them clearly. Three twenty-eight. That's about the time the nine one one call was made. There's the neighbor. He really did make the call. No longer a suspect. Now that I had evidence that it was a murder, I was required to return to the victim's family to inform them that it was not an accident. She told me that there would be a memorial the following day at her school if I wanted to go. We have gathered here today to remember this beautiful, lovely girl that has passed away not too long ago, and we'll miss her dearly. Thanks. Thank you for coming. What to do, what to do.